Happy Mario Day, my dears. Hero here. I use they, them pronouns. I am genderqueer. Nintendo just released their final direct related to the Super Mario Brothers movie, coming to theaters April 5th. And in my opinion, they saved the best for last here. Not only did it really cement my feelings that I'm going to have a good time with this movie, even if it is just an average plot, I think it'll be a very fun and rewarding movie as a lifelong Mario fan. Literally, my first video game ever was Super Mario Brothers on my mom's NES that she kept from childhood. I'd play that in Duck Hunt on the CRT downstairs, some Donkey Kong DK Jr., but it all started with Mario. Not only did this final direct get me really excited for the Mario movie, but it also got me really hopeful for the future of Illumination Entertainment as an animation studio. From Chris Melodandry himself, the head of the company, the guy who started it all, this is what he said about the movie and what it's been like working with Nintendo. It pushed the technical and artistic capabilities of our studio to new heights. From what I can tell, this working relationship has really forced Illumination Entertainment as a studio to punch up a bit. Before recording today, I watched a couple of videos. I just typed in my search bar, why do people dislike Illumination animation? And I watched the first top videos that came up and got the sense of the talking points of why this animation studio is really disliked. The first major problem that people have with Illumination Animation is that they prioritize making money. They try to make movies as cheaply as possible and try to maximize the profit out of their movies. After Despicable Me proved that you can j really just use minions and make a movie successful on the commercialization of it, they really hunkered down on marketing over storytelling, they found a lot of financial success in doing that. There's no denying that Illumination movies make money. But the common criticism is that their movies come off as pretty vapid, a product that exists to make money, to sell merchandise, etc., etc. They're pretty transparent in being this capitalist, money hungry company, and so people don't vibe with that. And yeah, it's, I also find that gross. Animation is an art form, and I like more so the Walt Disney approach to making movies where he wanted to make money to have more resources to make movies. Illumination basically has the resources at their disposable. Illumination basically has the resources at their disposal to make great movies. However, they don't utilize them. They put those resources into their advertising. Maximize pro. Maximize profit, maximize profit, maximize profit. Second reason people don't really love Illumination animation is they don't really make that recognizable characters. Their most recognizable character is the minion and they are arguably not a character. They're just, <laughs> uh, they say Bornana and act silly and uh, do doodle do do nardwar their way through 90 minutes of a movie. Illumination animation, they don't really do iconic characters like your Disney's, your Pixar's. Some of their most memorable characters are from other properties. For example, the Grinch movie that they did. People also don't love the cleaned up design of that Grinch either. I don't really care, but he does definitely come across less as gross Grinch creature and just millennial who doesn't care anymore. <laughs> Once again, they've acquired a property that isn't theirs, you know. They don't get the credit for making Mario and the Mario universe. That being said, it seems like for the first time since maybe Illumination's very first movie, that original Despicable Me. The studio is trying to prove something, make a little name for themselves. This could act as a little renaissance for the studio. During the Nintendo Direct, we actually got to hear from the film's directors. Our passionate artists outdid themselves in the execution. We're excited for how this came out and can't wait for you to experience it in theaters April 5th. And the way they describe pushing the limits of the technical processes they use to really bring this movie to life, 
it sounds like Illumination is giving the people what they've been asking for. Use the resources at their disposal to make that next great kids movie. We improved our lighting and rendering technology to elevate this movie beyond anything Illumination has ever done. I've always felt that Illumination movies definitely could use a little work in the lighting department. Everything feels very flat and static and the models just kind of move in space and lighting isn't really the concern of Illumination movies. So to hear the directors talk specifically about how they wanted to get the lighting and compositing right, especially for the rainbow road scenes where you're driving on a rainbow road in space. Sorry if that's a spoiler for you, but it was literally on the direct thumbnail. They're throwing it on the movie posters now. They're proud that Rainbow Road is in this movie and they want you to know, they want you to come see what they did for it and how good it came out. In Mario Kart, Rainbow Road isn't just beautiful to look at, it is also one of the least forgiving courses in the game. As super fans of the Mario universe, we wanted to recreate that same sense of danger and epic scale on the big screen. The directors themselves have said they wanted it to look good and capture the imaginations of people the way Rainbow Road in its game form has captured the imagination of so many people in the past. And that's really cool. And the other footage we've seen, it looks like that same amount of passion, creativity has gone into every aspect of the film and really making it visually bring the magic of Mario to life, to the big screen. They talk highly about the team that's worked on this thing, how many people are working on it, how many of them are longtime fans of Mario themselves. It's really cool and like a rare thing when a franchise seems to have so much soul this far in, you know? We seem to, you know, the longer franchises go on, it can feel like a lot of the soul is lost. A lot of what made it so iconic in the first place, uh, you just get diminished returns. But Mario culturally has stayed strong. It seems like this is a great cohesive effort to make just a cool Mario movie. They're taking this stuff serious and I'm so, so excited to see it in theaters. If Illumination puts this kind of passion into future movies that they make, not just the Mario movie, we could expect some really great stuff from them in the future. Let's hope they learn from this and adjust their philosophy as a company. Let's hope they realize that you can make a movie both with passion and still have it make a lot of money. I know they want to make money, they've said as much. But make some good movies, man. <laughs> Otherwise, why bother? And there you have it, that's my two cents. Are you excited for the Mario movie? Do you think this will be a one-time thing for Illumination Studios where they really try hard on a movie? Or do you also think this could be a good sign for the future for them? Let me know your takes in the comments below. Don't forget to do the subscribe thing ring our notification bell. And most importantly, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay super.